Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I'm here at the lake, where, well, pretty much where I left off, of course. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I couldn't find that paper that I had the Scarecrow song written down on. So I was like, I was flipping out because I couldn't find that paper. I'm like, oh shit, what am I going to do? I need that song to complete the game. And then, you know, the idiot I am, I finally remembered... Dude, why don't you just go back and watch the video where you came up with the Scarecrow song. So that's what I did. And this is it. Yeah, uh, play with that song. Alright. There you go. Jeez. I probably tried, like, every combination except that one. When I was trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's the tune you rock. I'm blown away. Oh, no, no. I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. But I just feel like rewarding you. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around here, so play that tune when you want to call him. I'll tell him to help you if he's nearby and hears that song, baby. Awesome. There's our, there's our Scarecrow song. Now we have the Scarecrow song. Now we can use it, and now it's useful. So, hell yeah to that. Oh, God. My ears are itchy under my headphones. Don't you just hate it when that happens? When you're recording and your ears start itching under your headphones? So damn annoying. Okay, now that I've done that... Oh. Sometimes opponent can't de get down this little area right here. I don't know why. Okay. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Where to next? Let's see. Probably... Uh, do I want to go there? Yeah, I guess so. We could do some things there. I was going to pass on it. Oh, let's head to Gerudo um, Valley. Or Gerudo Valley. Is it Gerudo? Yeah, it's Gerudo Valley. Uh, there's not much I'm going to do there. There are plenty of things we can do there, but um, I'm going to save that for later. For now, I'm just going to get a couple Sculptulas, which it's turning daytime, so I'm going to have to play the Sun Song when I get in here. Um, as for things that have changed here in Grudo Valley in the past seven years, um, the bridge is out over there, as you can see. I'm wondering, well, how do you get across it? Well, oh yeah, there's the epic music again. Well, you get across it like this. You get across it in a really epic way. Go over here, turn a pona around. I love doing this. This is epic. At full speed towards the bridge, and oh yeah, that is epic. I love it. All right, not pretty much over. And th over there, oh Navi, not you. Over there, um, is a new area in the game we haven't been to yet. I could go there now. What the hell? Dude, get the bombs away. What are you doing? I could go there now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save that for later. I am the... Ugh, damn. I, I, I'm always so afraid I'm going to accidentally mute my microphone, because it's so hard to do that with this mic. I am the master craft craftsman. Those Grudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I went to fix it, but all of my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Grudo's fortress to become thieves. Hey, you... If you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? Yeah, that, we won't be doing that for a long time. So, as you can see, there's nobody in here, really. This is normally where all the carpenters are. What's this dude have to say? I'm the wandering running man. I've run all over this land in search of competitors who have a true killer instinct. This is that, um, guy we sold the bunny hood to, by the way. I came here to run through the haunted wasteland, but doesn't look like good timing for that. Though I want to go back to Hyrule Field, the bridge is, well, you can see it from here, so I'm stuck here inside this tent. I don't think I can accept your challenge right now. <laughs> yeah, you, after you get the, um, oh, spoiler alert, after you get the bridge fixed, which you do, uh, you can race that dude. You don't get anything for it. It's not like a mini mini game or side quest. You get nothing for it. It's just, I don't know, something fun you can do, I guess. There's a Sculptula right here. Right here. Ah, gold Sculptula. Mr. G. What up, G? No. What up, Gold Sculptula? What up, G? As in Snorlax. What up, G? No. Alright, uh, there should be another one right up here. There he is. 
There we go. How many sculptures does that give us now, anyway? Let's take a look. Take a gander. 50! Awesome sauce. We can get our next reward from the Sculptula House. It's like I said before, you can get rewards up to 50, but then after you get the reward for 50, you don't get another one till 100. So, this will be our last reward from the Sculptula House for a while. Alright. Run, Epona! Yeah, epicness. I love it. I love making that jump. Alright, that's pretty much all I wanted to do here in um, Grudo Valley. So, we're pretty much done for here. We're done for here. We're done here. Alright. Now, there's actually, there's a hole out here in, in, uh, in, um, a rule field. Dude, don't forget the name of the places in this game. Come on now. Uh, that has a heart piece in it. We couldn't get it before because you needed, you can get it to two ways. Um, either with the gold scale or the iron boot, but you have to have one or the other. So, and I believe it's right here by this tree, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I'm not. No, Link, don't throw the bombs. Drop them down. Excellent. Right up against the tree. There's a there's a stupid ass tech titan here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna freeze his ass. Anyway, jump in the water and put on your iron boots. Your iron boots. That's 15 boots. And drop to the bottom. Oh yeah, and that's another heart container too. Awesome. Alright. And as you can see, when you're underwater with the Zora tunic on, the blue tunic, you won't drown. An example of it there. Alright. Uh, now that we got that, where to next? Let's get on uh, let's get on a Pony. La Pony here. Makes getting around this place so much easier. Gotta love a Pona. A Pona. A Pony. Uh Okay. You're not going to believe where we're going, but uh, we're going to Dodongo's Cavern. Yeah, that's right. We're going to Dodongo's Cavern, because there's actually... Oh, oh yeah, you stupid Poe. I'm not, I'll be after you later. Don't worry, I'll be hunting you down. I'll let you live for now, but I'll get you later. Right. It's as far as Epona can go, you can't take her beyond, beyond this point, so... Yeah. Uh, we're going into Dongus Cavern because there's a sculpture that we can get there that you can actually only get as an adult. So, it's amazing that they put a sculpture that you can only get into as an adult in a kid dungeon. I thought that was very interesting. But it's kind of epic going back into a kid dungeon uh, as an adult. It's kind of really cool, actually. You can't you can't go back into the Deku Tree, and uh, you can't go back into uh, Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, so... This is the only kid dungeon you can go back into, and it's really cool. Tektites. Uh, you've noticed that some Tektites are different colors. The blue ones are stronger. Well, not stronger, they don't take off more health, but they just take more hits to kill than the red ones. So. I think. I know they take more hits, I don't know if they take off more health or not. But here we are in Dodongo's Cavern as an adult, so this is kind of epic. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is head over here. Oh, no. Get off there. All right. You want to head over here because I... Yeah. Is this the right spot? Yeah, this is it. All right. In here, where we have these hollow dudes. Ow! Oh, get away, get away. They're gonna, they're gonna explode. They're gonna explode. You see a cliff up here, and Navi goes up there, and she's all green and targets it. Well, you can see a sculpture up there, sort of, at the top of the screen. Well, if you play... Your good old Scarecrow song. Scarecrow will pop up. And this is an example of the scarecrows. You play a, if you play, you don't, you can't play the scarecrow song everywhere and get the scarecrow to pop up anywhere you want. It's only in certain locations. This is one of them, and you can hook shot to them. And there you go. Let's see if I can do that backflip thing. Oh, I don't need to see up Link's freaking. Oh, never mind. Anyway, yeah, there's one you can only get as an adult. That one's interesting. I always, I always found that sculpture very interesting. Anyway, uh, there's actually still one more. Here in uh, 
the Dongo's Cavern that we can get. And I need to get on this. There we go. And you need to take this to the very top. All the way up. What the hell? With that switch on, the moving platform goes higher. Now you can quickly reach a sec- Oh! You think, Navi? You think? Jeez, I figured that out seven years ago, retard. Jeez. Oh my god, Navi, you're an idiot. Uh, do I want to go that way? I'm afraid if I go that way, I'm going to regret it, but I'm just going to... Basically, what we're doing is we're going backwards through the dungeon here. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We're going through this dungeon backwards as an adult. Uh, that's so cool. We're going through a kid dungeon backwards as an adult. You know, that's it's crazy, man. This is crazy. Crazy game. Alright. God, this place looks... Ow! Ass wipe. Fine, hit me. See if I care. This place seems so weird going through it backwards. I mean, you see it so... Like, millions of times when you're going through it the right way. When you go through it backwards, it just seems so weird. Okay, yeah, I ended up in this room anyway. Okay. Are right, you gonna go by? There you go. All right. Need to get up here. Going through this backwards. Oh shoot! I did, didn't I? Yeah, I knew. I knew I was forgetting something at the start of this recording. You know how I have that sticky note I told you about that I taped to the top of my computer monitor to remind me to turn off my phone? Well, I I turned on my computer this time and it. When I turned it on, it seemed like something was missing. You know, like... Oh, hang on. Keith is going to kick my ass. It seemed like something was missing, and, well, I couldn't figure out what it was. It turns out, it was that sticky note on top of my computer. So, of course, I forgot to turn off my phone. God, what? I don't know what happened to that little note. I... Ugh, whatever. Alright, uh, all right, now, as you notice, we're back in this room. This is where I need to be, by the way. Ooh, don't run off the edge. This is that room where we had to bomb the staircase down. But as you can see, the staircase is up. We haven't bombed it down yet. Well, in order to get this Skulltula, you have to go through this dungeon backwards to get here with the stair staircase up. And then you climb up these vines, and then right here is a Skulltula. You can't get the Skulltula with it if you already if you bring the staircase down, so you need to go through the dungeon backwards. Isn't that just the craziest thing ever? The, I'm telling you, man, the shit they make you go through for these sculptures is insane. It's just ins crazy. Alright, and that's that should do it. As you can see, we finally have all the sculptures in Dodongo's Cavern. So there you go. We'll never have to come in here again. Which is kind of too bad, because I like Dodongo's Cavern. It's kind of it's badass. It's pretty badass. So... Oh, uh, let's see. What's next on our list? Uh, Alright. Next, we head on to Goron City. Good old Goron City. Uh, there's rocks falling, rolling down here. Yeah, watch out for those. As an adult, rocks are, like, rolling down here like crazy. Alright. Ooh, and there's that uh, scary-looking fire over Death Mountain there. Scary crap. Some scary ass shit right there. Alright. I believe you can get hearts out of these rocks. If you're missing hearts, every each rock will give you three hearts. Yeah. And if you're if you're full on hearts, each rock will give you three rupees. Three green rupees. Every time. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I know. It's like how do you know that? Well I'll you gotta have no life to figure that stuff out right there. Well, not really. You just play the game a lot of times. I think there's a sculpture law on the back of this thing right here. So we're gonna we're gonna grab that guy. No, you did not. Maybe I can reach him from here. Yes! Awesome. I can get him from here. There you go. There's a sculpture law. Um. All right. Now what we have to do is you see a dude rolling around here. Wait. What the hell? Oh, that's on the one floor up. Okay. Uh. Yeah, remember that that big Goron that was rolling around that we bombed that one episode to get the um, bomb upgrade? Well, now we have to bomb that guy again, except it's not the same guy. It's a different guy, and he's much harder because, as you can see, he's much smaller. 
to regular sized Goron. So, this could be more difficult. Oh, you're kidding, right? Sometimes I waste like 20 bombs on that thing. How could you do this to me? You're Ganondorf's servant. I hear my name and tremble. I am Pyro, hero of the Gorons. You're what? 